Welcome to Construction Cronies. My name is Chris Conkle and today I'm going to be teaching you how to tape cut drywall in three easy steps. So for tape cutting, it's very important to understand that it's all in the grip. You need to have a good tight grip on your knife and the tape measure. Simply find your mark and pinch it with your index and your thumb and keep a hold of it, all right? So that you can slide your index along the sheet, like so. Take the knife end and your thumb and clip it onto the tape. When you find your mark, it's important to keep it nice and solid, the grip, don't let go. Use your knife to make the marks on the drywall so you don't have to use a pencil and you always have your knife in your hand and your tape measure for that matter. Okay, so like when I say, when you want to mark a measurement, just use your knife so you always have your knife and your tape in your hands. It's also nice because the knife will automatically fit into the groove when you're close to the number. Find your mark. Now on 5 8 drywall, always score it twice. Once to politely score it to break the paper, and the second go a little harder to dig in. Now this may sound silly, but it's important when you're when you're cutting side step, side to side. Always keep your tape square to the drywall because when you start going like this, your line will be wavy and your measurements will be off. So keep it square. Don't like this, like this. And you'll be good to go. When you're using just your knife to cut something, you can, you can be quick if it's a rough cut. You can literally, because the knife is so thin, just put it to the number on the sheet. So say it's two feet or 16, sorry. You can go right to 16 on the edge of the sheet and cut that way. 32, same thing. Cut. But, say you're drawing centers with a pencil and you pinch the tape. You can see that the pencil is not quite on the end of the tape, so you have to account for that. It's usually a quarter inch. So for 16, you'd go 15 three quarter, 31 three quarter. Like that. Okay, remember those three easy steps. One, drywall or death grip. Step number one, the drywall or death grip. Step number two is keep it square to the sheet, always square. And step number three, sidestepping. Well, there you go. That's a little bit on how to tape cut. Just remember, guys, just practice makes perfect. Practice, practice, practice. You've got some basic steps here. So take that into the field and practice. The more you do it, the better you're going to get, guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe right down below. And YouTube thinks you might like this video right here. So give it a watch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now, guys.